Today we're talking to people who are revealing how they're doing the same. You know how they say time is money. Well, my next guest knows all about how time can affect your money and how money or lack thereof can affect your time. That sounds like a hip hop lyric. I need to make that into a song. As a single mom of two young children, Clarissa Moore dug herself out of tens of thousands of dollars in credit card debt and is now helping other working women make, manage, and multiply their money so that they can, as she says, live their best lives without going broke. Now, she's been featured in Essence Business Insider and other financial publications and says she's helped more than 700 women pay off an average of $10,000 in debt. Here's her story. I was married for six years, but we found ourselves in a lot of muddy waters when we weren't able to make payments on certain things. So we would use our credit card to buy food and to pay certain bills. Once we realized that we just didn't work well together anymore and I left, I found myself in a lot of debt. So what I did was I did buckle down. I didn't buy anything. I didn't do anything. I just went to church. I went to work and that was it. I cooked every meal at home and I also had a side hustle. I had over $38,000 in credit card debt that I paid off in, in 16 months and I did it all on a single mom income. I'm never going back into credit card debt again. Please welcome the owner and founder of Clarissa Explains Money, Clarissa Moore. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. Now, this version of your life, you are a certified credit repair specialist. Where were you when I was 20? And you have helped 700, around 700 women pay off, they said, an average of $10,000 a debt. You know this because you've lived this. Uh, you talk about being in debt as a single mom. Looking at your background, the debt started with the end of your marriage. Take me back to those years of how, because a lot of people can, have, can relate to that. Marriage can make you better, it can make you worse. Yeah. So it, it really started when we, um, we lost our jobs. I just had my son, so I was working on just his income. Money was really tight. Yeah. We had to still pay bills. So the money was going on, you know, our credit cards. Well, they say most marriages break up because of finances. That's the number one reason that people part ways, because you don't see eye to eye on the future. You ended up, and I don't know what happened there, but nevertheless, you end up being a single mom in debt. Mm -hmm. You are your backup plan. You are their backup plan. Yes. And the credit card bills are coming in. Mm -hmm. How do you not panic? Because time is money, and you only have so much time to spend with them, and you can only take so many side hustles. Yeah. I stayed in church. I, I didn't know what else to do. I stayed in church. I buckled down in my business. I had a side hustle where I was selling fashion jewelry. I would give fashion jewelry to the stars where they would promote my things online, and I would get more customers and clients. And then I started um, just tackling that debt from all angles. So how, what was the first thing you did in tackling the debt? The first thing I did was just calculate how much it was. How much was it? It was about $38,000. $38,000, okay. And suddenly none of those things you bought seem worth it. I've been there, you're like, wait a minute, I, where are those things now? But you've got 38,000 in debt. Mm -hmm. What was the first thing you did? So after I calculated everything, I started to figure out how do I pay this off? Okay. So the, you can only do two things. You can e either increase your income or decrease your expenses. So I did both. I tried to tackle this with everything I had. I started uh, paying down as much as I can. I did balance transfers to get my debt over to a 0% interest card so that, because the interest is what eats, eats, you, up. eats mm -hmm. you up. The yeah. discipline that it takes, and when you're training the other clients, many of them women, many of them single moms, I was raised by a single mom, it takes a lot of discipline because you still want to get your kids things. You still want to go out to dinner. You still want to treat yourself. So you're trying to live in the present and be disciplined but there are things that you want to do, right. especially when you have kids. Right. Outside of faith, which is cr critical in everything that we do, I do, um, what was the key to disciplining yourself in that way? So the way that I teach my clients to is just focus on the goal. Okay. Because once you start thinking about your goals, you get all excited and you know, you're thinking about the What future. was your goal? My goal was just making sure that I had everything that I need to make my, have my children have a great life. Coming up, we're going to meet one of Clarissa's clients who says working with Clarissa has already changed her life after the break. 
I am super happy and blessed that I could live at home with my mom. That way I could save a good amount of money to get my own condo and still enjoy my life and not restrict myself to the things that I like to do. Instead of me actually ordering food out, I just open my fridge and see what left over I can eat. I would always go online and order a new outfit. But now instead, I just go into my closet and see where I could find. So every time I look in my budget and I see that I'm getting close to my goal, I am so happy because I'm going to have my own home sooner rather than later. Welcome back, Cam fam. We're with Clarissa Moore, a financial consultant who knows quite a bit about paying off cash that we owe. She paid off $40,000 in debt in just 16 months and is now helping women around the country do the same. And joining us now is one of her clients, a middle school educator, Melissa Encarnacion. Welcome, <laughs> Melissa. So $25,000 in credit card debt? Mm -hmm. Yes. And so what was the goal? The goal is to pay off all my credit card debt and also have enough in my savings in order to move out because I want to buy my own condo and actually move out and enjoy my life. So for Carissa, you're North Star with your children. Um, you have no children. Your goal was to get a condo. So yes. you're single and you're working, you're trying to reach this goal, but you got a lot of debt behind you. Going through the things, Clarissa, that you say people should do. Open a high yield savings account. Why do you advise that? Because it gives you more interest on deposits than a traditional bank account. So right now, if you look at your bank account, you'll see that you're getting a penny there, a penny here every single month. Yeah. If you get a high yield savings account, you will see that number eight times that. You can create a budget. Yes. <laughs> All right, that's basic advice. Is mm -hmm. there some secret to the right budget though? Right, the right budget I think needs to have a lot of other moving parts. So it's not just, a lot of people think that a budget is just a list of bills. Yeah, that's they think, not... okay, I'm gonna budget 500 for <laughs> this, 200 for that, my rent, that's a budget. What do you say a budget is? So you need to have everything in there that's your bills and your expenses, but you also need to have things in there for fun. So I buckled down and I, I had no fun because I had to get this paid off, but some people can't, do it that way, yeah. you need to still give yourself something. You can't just go to work and work so hard and not have any reward, because right. you end up paying it, you, you end up spending it anyway. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people do that, that tug of war with their savings account, yeah. they put some in there and then they take it back out, they put some in there and yeah. they take it back out. Um, so making sure that you have some fun in there, making sure that you have an emergency fund because life is going to life. So you gotta make sure that you have money set aside to cover those things. You say pay down, pay off your credit cards, which you both Absolutely. did. Contribute to an employer retirement account. Tell me, how's it going? Um, it's going very well, actually. In the beginning, I was kind of holding it off because I was nervous tackling the amount of debt that I have. So I know I started with her in the beginning of last year and we had like our first initial meeting, but then I just completely forgot, but I was really scared to tackle it. But then when I um, received a new job and I saw my annual salary, I'm like, no, I'm making a good amount of money. I need to learn how to budget and yeah. hopefully um, achieve my goals. And it's going very, it was going excellent, better than I thought it would go. All right, well, good luck. Good Thank luck you. Good luck. <laughs> Melissa Encarnacion, thank you so much.